Hey everyone, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and today's video is a third part of our little CMS mini series. Now, if you're not aware of what CMS is, it stands for Content Management System. In the first video, we talked about creating a database. In the second video, we created our first dynamic pages and I showed you the importance of using dynamic pages. In this episode, we're gonna be primarily focusing on creating custom forms in Wix and Editor X. Now, the reason why you might want to use custom forms is let's say you're wanting to have a form with a lot of different inputs, like a job application, or maybe you have a bunch of forms on your website for various reasons and you need another one, but you don't have the premium plan that allows you to have additional forms. Or maybe you're just like me and you just really like to create custom forms and they're just your preferred method and you have a little bit more control over how they are built and what is included. If you're like me, then this video is for you. Now, what I will say is the final video of the series is actually already available on our Patreon ad free. So if you wanna check the link in the description to check it out, feel free to do that. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So in the last video, we kind of created dynamic pages for our different team members. And we even created like an about page that basically displayed all of our team members here. But just for fun, let's say there is a, another section below it. And we want to create a little call to action to join the team. And maybe we can have a little button here as well. So I'm just gonna copy this button, paste it here. And we can just have a little button that says apply now, just like that. Now let's go ahead and create a brand new page. So we'll come over to page, we'll create a new page. And this one can be called job application. Perfect. And maybe on the about page where it says apply now, instead of having this link to a data set, we can just have this link to our new page called job application. So when the user clicks on apply now, it's going to take them to a blank page. Now what we want to do here is create a form. If we create the form now, it's not really going to do anything because we have not connected it to a data set yet. So what we can do is come over to content manager. We can go to collections and we're going to create a brand new collection for this one. We're going to call this one job application and go ahead and press create. Now in this job application, we might want their name. So let's go ahead and create a field type, a text field type. We'll call this one name. Maybe we want their resume. So what we can do is select a field type for a document and we can call this one resume. Maybe we can have a little text like why do you want to work here or work for us? And last but not least, maybe we can have a text field for their email and maybe a phone number so we can get in contact with them. Perfect. Now what I want to do is go ahead and set the name to primary and we can just go ahead and delete this title field because we don't need it. Great. So now for our application form, we're going to need an input for name. We need an upload button for resume. We need a text element for why do you want to work for us? A text element for email and a text element for phone. So let's go back over to our page here for job application. Let's give us some room to work with. And I'm just going to add a title up here at the top. We'll call this one job application. Make the size a little bit bigger. Move it to the middle. Then we can add a little paragraph below it. Again, we can center it real quick. Perfect. Now below that, we can go ahead and start working on the form. So what we can do is come over to add. 
over here, you'll notice that we have th something called input. Now, of course, for the name, we're gonna want a text input. So we'll go ahead and drag this out. We can make, maybe make this a little bit bigger and maybe a little bit wider as well. So maybe we can do something like 30%. We'll just center it, perfect. Let's go ahead and duplicate this a couple more times. So maybe we want this one to say email. We'll copy and paste this again. If we go into the settings, we can say phone. And for each one of these, you'll also notice that down, if we scroll down, each one of these fields is currently set to required. So we can uncheck this if, we, if it's an optional field in our form. We can also set a character limit and add a pattern validation. But since this one is a phone number, we can actually even set this one to a phone number just like that. So that way when they enter a number, it's going to automatically kind of format it like a phone number. And let's actually go ahead and do that for the email here as well. We can set the type from text to email. Perfect. And for name, I don't want to say add your name. I just want it to say full name, just like that. Underneath that, let's go ahead and go over to add and I want to add a text box. So text box are a little bit bigger. Again, we're gonna set this to 30%. We'll center it. And maybe for the height, we can just bring it down a little bit, just like that. Perfect. And in these settings, we can change the text to why do you want to work here? Or why do you wanna work for us? This one can be like an optional one. So I'm gonna turn off this and we'll go ahead and click off. The next thing that we have in our database is the resume. So what we can do is say upload button and we can choose this one right here. Make sure it's centered. And instead of select file, we can have it say upload resume. And we can make this a little taller as well. And last but not least, we can go ahead and add a button, which I'm actually just gonna grab the button from the about page, just so everything's kind of on brand and consistent. And we'll just paste that down here. And for this text, we'll say submit. Now we're also gonna go ahead and remove the link here as well, because we don't need that. What we want to do is go ahead and grab each one of these elements here and stack them together. Then we'll center it inside of the section. And here is our job application form. Now, if we go ahead and fill this out and press submit, again, nothing is gonna happen because we have one more step to do. So what we want to do is come over to add. We're gonna go on to content manager. And for the dynamic pages, we used data set. But for this one, what we want to do is form data set. So now we have this data set right here. However, if we go into the settings, you'll notice that the mode is set to write only. For dynamic pages and stuff like that, for the regular data set, it's actually set to read only. And this one's gonna be for write. Because what we want to do is when this content is filled out and and the submit button is pressed, we want it to create or write in things for our database. So we wanna make sure that for this form data set, it's set to write. So what we want to do now is choose the job application database. Again, we want to say write only. Of course, we can say read and write and read only, but we want to write for this. And we won't have any filter or sort options because we're not displaying this content on the website, it's not set to read, it's set to write. But now that we have set that, now we can select this input. We wanna make sure that this is set to job application data set, which is this one right here. And we want the name to connect to name. For email, let's go ahead and do the same thing. We'll say connect data. We'll make sure it's set to job application data set. And we want this one to go to the email field. We'll do it again for phone. We just wanna connect this one to the phone field in the database. For this text box, we want to connect this one to why do you wanna work for us? Just like that. For this little upload button, 
We want this to connect to the document. So we want this one to be the resume file. And last but not least for the submit, we're gonna press connect to data set. Again, we wanna make sure it's set to the job application data set and the click action is going to submit. And if we wanted to, we could even add a success message as well. And we can even say when successful navigate to, and we can have it stay on this page, or we can go to another page on the website if we wanted to. So maybe once they fill out this application, it can go back to the home page. So now if I just go ahead and preview the website, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my name. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the email. We'll go ahead and put in a phone number and we can say why we wanna work there, cause it's cool. And I'm not gonna upload the resume. We're just gonna go ahead and press submit. And now it took us back to the home page. But if we go back into the editor, come over to content manager, go to our collections and open up the job application. We will now see that we have a new thing for name. Here would be a document for the resume, which you could open up. Why do you wanna work here? Cause it's cool. Email and phone number. Now, what I will say about custom forms is when someone fills out this form, you won't typically receive an email by default. You can use code to do it yourself, or we can come up to site, go to dashboard, and over here, you'll notice something called automations. And once we're here, we can go ahead and press create an automation. Let's go ahead and start from scratch. First thing we're gonna want to do is go ahead and name this automation. I'm gonna call this job application submission. And we're gonna choose Wix data forms. We can choose all forms if we want to, or we can say specific form. And we want to choose the job application form. I do wanna mention if you do not see Wix forms or Wix data forms here, that's because your website is not published. So make sure you publish this to get access to Wix data forms. And then you'll get access to the, your job application form if you're following this. And then we can select an action. So what we can do is when this form is submitted, when someone submits a form to job application, we can say get an email and we can send the notifications to multiple emails or just one. We can call the email subject job application submission, and we can include details of the trigger, which I'm just gonna say hello at Wixfix. Okay, and we can even set the timings. For something like this, you would probably want it immediately. So we can go ahead and do that, and we can go ahead and activate this automation. So now if anyone ever fills out that job application form, your email will get the submission details for that submission. But that's all you really need to know about creating custom forms in Wix and Editor X. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more Wix and Editor X content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see y'all in the next one.